Hi, this is a John Dunn back again, guys, for another commentary. So today I'm checking out the little girl who lives down the lane. The year is 1976, and the film is directed by Nicholas Gessner. First time watching this one, a little bit of early Jodie Foster action. So anybody interested in syncing up with my full film commentary, please set the film timestamp to zero, have the film on pause, also put on your subtitles, and I'll give you a count and in five, five, four, three, two, one, hit play. Yeah, looking forward to this. As I said, never seen it. So, hearing good reports about this movie. So, 1976. So, it's just a sinking purposes. So, we've got a beach. So, the title's just appeared on screen. Very nice. Feels very 1970s. Starring Jodie Foster. Yellow text. There she is. Martin Sheen. Wow, this feels very 1970s, I've got to say. So, is she having a moment to herself? Character name. So, she's playing the character of... Rin... Is it Rin Jacobs? I think I'm pronouncing that right. Very nice. So is this part of her character? She const she's uh, isolated site. I'm just speculating, guys. As I said, never seen the film, so. so it's based on a novel. Okay, interesting. Nicholas Geshner has just appeared. So isolated house, exterior, evening. Very nice. Somebody's birthday, so candles are being lit. There she is, a young looking Jodie Foster. Wow. Is this a little private gathering, Jodie? What's going on, love? What the fuck, man? Is she a religious type? Big fucking ceremony. What the fuck is going on with her fucking teeth? Cracked teeth. Wow, this is a bit fucking creepy. I don't know. I, as I said, guys, first time watching this, but I'm immediately on fucking edge here. I don't know why either. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that... Yeah, the little, like, candled mirror shot has thrown me off track it. Oh, she's got some weird fucking mannerisms at play, here. Yes. Puffing away. So it's, it's Martin Sheen, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Are you just randomly letting yourself in? Are there leaves fluttering outside? It's a fairly youngish looking Martin Sheen here. So he's playing Frank Harlett, yeah. Yeah, so it looks like our uh, Jodie Foster's home alone here. I'm not entirely sure why. Wow, yeah, mate. Make a fucking mess as you come in. Yeah, this is a promising opening. I'm really enjoying this right now. Yeah, what has she got on right now? She's like, it's like she's wearing whitened robes here because you've got the hooded element just behind her hair. Yeah, I get the impression that she's on the brink. 
Yeah, she had a little like private ceremony. Oh, almond. Oh, mother, dead. Oh shit. Yeah, stop asking questions, mate. Let's have a bit of cake. Upstairs. Father's upstairs. Fucking hell, mate. He's a bit fucking rude, isn't he, old Martin Sheen? It's a sea of fucking questions. Look, mate, why don't you clear off? Stop prying into my fucking past. Oh, look, he's touching her. Oh, shit. Ah, oh, 1970s, isn't it? You know? Fucking free-for-all back then. 13. 13, your lucky fucking number, Mr. Sheen. Yeah, I'm picking up on the fact that this guy... Yeah, he's got other motives at play. Yeah, he's got that, he's got that look in his eye that he's going to try it on with her. I'm calling it. I kind of like in the fact that we're sort of getting a uh, minimal dialogue from Jodie Foster right now. I think they're um, yeah, it's strong opening. Gordon, oh yes. Oh, he, he, he wants to hear the fact that... The, oh, look, yeah, look, he wants to get her in bed. Yeah, this is a very uncomfortable sequence, i got to say. Fucking s smack him in the mouth, Jody. Mate. Breaking news. She's she's fucking 13, you fucking paedophile. Get your fucking hands off her. Look at him. Relax. Oh, yeah, how about I call the fucking police, mate? You got off easily, or not like the rest of them. Fuck. Go and fucking clear off, mate. You've got two kids of your own. You're still trying it on with young fucking girls. Yeah, brilliant performance that from uh, Martin Sheen. Very sinister, but obviously tapping into his character. Right, okay. So we're getting some 1970s music here. Fucking hell, man. So Jodie's heading off. I'll probably revert between just referring to her as Jodie Foster and obviously her character name. Is it Rin Jacobs? So he's waiting for her. So you don't want her left. So it's the fly solo and oh no, she get oh it's Martin Sheen again. Fucking hell mate. You need to fucking rein it in, mate. Jacob's Rin. So she's revealed the fact that the mother's dead. I'm not entirely sure regarding the um, location of her father. I felt she was a little bit... Um, yeah, father has an account. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure regarding his whereabouts right now, you know.
Yeah, I really like... I like what they've done with her hair. It looks a little kind of creepy, but I like it. This location's pretty neat as well, sort of down by the uh, seaside. Yeah, strong opening this, really enjoying it. So new character coming into shot. God, so 1970s at the uh just the general look and feel. I mean, it's more so in like the clothing. It's not a Chris criticism. I mean, it was made in the 1970s, so it is what what it is, and I kind of like it. You know, do you feel like you're sort of stepping back in time? I'm now in the year 2023. You know. So she's just picking apples. The fuck is going on in here? Ah, uh, she's learning a foreign language, I guess. I fucking uh, people, Jody's like, look, if people start bothering me, I'm trying to have a bit of fucking peace and quiet. Why, look, another fucking idiot asking questions. Jody's like, well, you just fuck off, you know? Leave me the fuck alone. I'm isolated for a fucking reason. Yeah, I'm sort of trying to, like, read her character. As I said, guys, first time watching. So I'm sort of trying to pick up on a few things here. I.e., why is she... She seems to be a bit of an isolated type. So there's probably a reason why. And I'd imagine we're going to get into it throughout the movie. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure regarding the whereabouts of her fucking father. Oh my god, I, I feel I sense something dark here. Yeah, where's the father to? Was he fucking dead in the fucking attic? <laughs> I have no idea, I'm just speculating right now. So he's not home. That's what she says. So he's in New York, apparently. Wink, wink. No, that was her. Uh, I'm not talking to herself, but... Living Hebrew... Hey, you're a fucking nosy bitch, love. Why don't you fuck off? So getting some nice camera shots here. Yeah? Oh, yes. Your son. Your son needs to fucking control himself. No, but he's been fucking lingering outside waiting for me. Oh wow! So you know what you 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 know what he's been getting up to, and you're doing nothing about it, love. Yeah, your overly touching fucking son, bitch, Mrs. Hallett. You need to fix your fucking children, love. Stop fucking protecting them. 
He's a fucking molester. Yeah. Does he realise how fucking young I am? Mrs. fucking Hallett. Oh, shit. The cellar. Fuck. Yeah, you don't want to be going... Yeah, don't, don't. There's nothing in the cellar. There's a few rats. Yeah, I'll get them for you later. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, you tell her, Jody. Yeah, you're a nosy fucking bitch. You just let herself in. Fucking clear off. I'm trying to... F yeah, you tell... I'll try... I'll fuck off, bitch. Yeah, I'm trying to fill in the... The blanks here for Jody. What she really wants to fucking say to her. Shouldn't you be fucking working, love? You don't look that fucking old. Yeah, you're a right fucking member. I'm self-fucking sort. Yeah, put on your fucking coat. Clear off, you bitch. And fix your fucking son. She don't have to give this bitch any fucking information here. Incredibly fucking rude. How about I tell my... F yeah, fuck off. Bit. Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Jody's performance here. It's really... There is a lot going on with this girl that hasn't been revealed so far. You can sort of tell. Oh my god, man. This is going to get really fucking dark. I can just feel it. Yeah, it was that opening moment when she had the robes on, the candle lights, and she was looking in the mirror. I just clocked it immediately. I said, there's something, something not right yet. Uh, look at the isolation with the character. Emily Dickinson. Yeah, this is wonderful right now. What a great movie. Yeah, I'm not... It's so 1976. I'm not entirely sure if this is before or after Taxi Driver. I'll have to check IMDb. I, it do not really matter. Jodie Foster's just a fantastic actress and it really do not matter either way, you know? So I wonder if her... It's like her... Yeah, her teeth. One of her teeth is sort of like chipped a little. I wonder if they deliberately did that for the character or if that's her actual teeth. I'm not entirely sure. These overly bearing adults that seem to be keen in regards to telling her what she should do with her fucking life, man. Give it a fucking rest, man. Yeah, she's on to Mrs. Hallett. Fucking bitch. Oh, it's Martin Sheen, so... Without doubt, playing the dark character in this fucking piece. Here he comes. Look at him. Where are you going, mate? You need to fucking rein it in. Give you a lift, yeah. Just so you can fucking touch me. For you, uh, police officer, mate. Yeah, now you make a run for it. So is it? Is it actually snowing right now? Seems to be getting flakes of snow in the shot, yeah. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, he's cleared up. Yeah, you want to, officer, keep an eye on that Harlot guy. Fucking dodgy, mate. Rin Jacobs. Millie Riddy, officer. Italian police officer, baby. We can trust the Italians, I think. So 
So the dialogue's very, very good right now. And getting good, like, character beats, character development. Yeah, all thumbs up so far. See a positives. Yeah, really enjoying this right now. So it's just a trip home. Uh, everyone's keen to talk. Working. Thought he's in fucking New York. Oh, man. <sighs> oh, yeah, what have you fucking done with your fucking pops, love? Fucking hell, Judy. She's fucked him up, hasn't she? Yeah, I mean, if the father, if she's fucking taking out the father, it's only, you can only drag this out for so long. It's going to turn into, like, missing past. People, people are going to be trying to reach him, you know? Uh, trying to read this police officer, is he? Oh, yeah. Oh, he looks down. Don't be protecting the guy. I thought you were fucking law enforcement, mate. It's okay. So Thanksgiving is queuing in fairly soon. Hence the little snowfall we got earlier. So he's going to start snooping about. Yeah, he's not... Yeah, he's not entirely buying our story here. It's some ominous thunder outside. Yeah. Ominous rain outside. And the sort of <coughs> fluffy music kicks back in. It's like she ain't got a care in the world, but... Oh, man. Us behind the door. Fucking hell, baby. Oh, shit. Here we go. There are going to be some big reveals. So this is obviously the father's study. So she's going to just... She's just going to leave it on the desk, I guess. Is that his photograph in the background? Fucking hell, man. Is this the fucking Hallett bitch is coming back? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, I kind of like the setup right now. It's like, she's sort of like home alone. And then it's just people coming back and forth to the house, the home itself. Shit. I really don't like the fact how people just sort of randomly walk in like that. Fuck me, man. At least knock on the fucking door. It's not as if we're fucking related, bitch. Yeah, put some fucking poison in our fucking tea, Jody. Let's fix this fucking bitch. I hate this harlot woman. You're, Anna, Anna, it takes two to fucking tango, love. Your tone is all over the fucking place. How about you set the fucking standard, bitch? Hey, 
Ah, and some lashes of fucking poison, yeah? How's that sound? How about your son gets a fucking lie or starts dating women his actual fucking age, mommy? Ah, oh, fucking hell, Jody! You need to fucking clock this and knock her over the fucking head, bitch. Fuck off. Ah, oh, she's gonna have to. She's gonna have to end this, bitch. Because from what I can tell, the father. Oh, he's fucking long gone. He's long gone, Jim. So, at least on the home for three years. So, now it's this harlot. Did she lose the home? She, does she deal with property herself? Not entirely sure. She's trying to get rid of her for a reason. Oh, guys. Shit. Oh, shit. Yeah, I thought that he almost fucking raped me. Oh, shit. Yeah, well done, Jody. Coming back at a retreat, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's... Oh, shit. Just jazzed up sound effect there with a the slap. This is unbelievable right now. Jodie Foster's performance is r fucking remarkable. Yeah, the acting is fantastic. Unbelievable, baby. Yeah, this... I'm trying to check here. Yeah, fuck off, Hallett. Oh, shit, man. She won't let go of it. Fuck me, man. Oh, shit. What's down below? Oh, fuck me. What sequence? She gonna fucking knock her out here, look. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, shit, man. Well, that's all accidental. Oh, Jody's just going to sit it out. Oh, the bitch has knocked herself out. She screamed out loud. Oh, fuck me. Oh, we got two bodies down there now. Oh, the gerbil's like, oh, shit. I like the facts that the filmmakers are not revealing it right now. It's like we're very much aligned with the Jodie Foster character. Not implicating the audience, but I think a very effective way in regards to like, oh, she's fucking dead. <sighs> Well, I'm trying to fathom that. Would that really fucking kill her? Fucking hell, man. So as it stands, I mean, I've got to assume Mrs. Harlett's dead. The father's still missing. And Jodie carries on with normal life. Fuck me, man. Yeah, as I said, just going back to the filmmakers right now. Yeah, okay. 
Yeah, very good this. Life continues. She's looking on, so obviously the car's outside. She's like, yeah, what what do I do with the car? Oh, fuck me, man. She's trying to conceal all of this, isn't it? I need to get rid of the car. The body's in the cellar as it stands. Oh, she can't get inside. The keys are probably... The keys are on the, the carcass. Back into the cellar. I like it how it's sort of all playing out in real time. Yeah, this is fucking neat. Really cool. It seems so kind of like simple, i.e. how it's all playing out within the same location. Yeah, I do like the camera coverage right now. It's like the camera is not venture, venturing into the cellar. Because there's obviously... Yeah, there's obviously a lot more down there that we're not aware of right now. Oh, shit, baby. For a sequence that, I mean, you could score this sequence in a, I mean, they've got this kind of like jazzy 1970s music playing. I mean, you could score this sequence in a different way. It could be a little bit more ominous, but, I, yeah, the soundtrack's kind of like playful right now. So it's a little bit, um, yeah, I don't know what to feel as an audience viewer, because... Yeah, if you consider what Jodie Foster's doing right now, yeah, it's it's a little bit dark. If the car even start. Oh god, got a fucking another nosy fucking neighbour looking on. Yeah, people need to keep their fucking their prime fucking eyes. Keep your fucking nose out of other people's fucking business. Got another fucking idiot about to fucking appear here. Ow, oh, can I help you, ma'am? No, mate. Why don't you fuck off? Hi. You've been driving long. Are you a fucking magician, boy? Why don't you stop fucking asking questions, mate? Oh, a magician. Well, why don't you fucking disappear, mate? Yeah, Kane. Need to whack you over the fucking head. Yeah, I bet you are, mate. Seems to be a recurring line in the movie. Aren't you too? Oh, aren't you too fucking old? Clear off. Self-taught. Private lessons at home, mate. Clear off. Definitely a recurring element in the movie. Everyone's bringing up the the father figure angle where is he to where's his presence yeah so everybody's clearly aware of the son in it he's just referred to him as a creep so it seems to be well known what he's doing but no one's doing anything about it is he because he's high profile is the, was the mother high profile? Assuming she's fucking dead. She looked pretty dead, you know, moments ago in the fucking cellar, I gotta say. So just a random character, that magician guy. Yeah, very nice. Oh, man. Uh, is he 
I just wonder, where's the Sky 2 right? It's not with... It's not with her, is he? He fucking is. Fucking hell. So she's wearing the ominous fucking robes again. Yeah, they, I'm calling it. There's some sig significance to this attire that she's wearing. Yeah, something not right here. And I feel like it's going to get very, very fucking dark. Oh, yeah. She's a hippie and some. I'm starting to think, what's she done with that fucking body? I wonder if she's just left the body in the cellar because the smell's going to start picking up at some point. Oh, everyone's quick to remind her that she's 13. So fucking what? No, nah, she's not. She, she's clearly not told him, but. Oh, so. Not implicate. I mean, he's, he's helping her at the moment. He's got, uh, got rid of the fucking car. Shit. You're not that smart, mate. I was keen to help J Jodie Foster here, but not really like reading between the lines, i.e. where is Mrs. Hallett actually to right now, you know? Oh, yeah, now he's asking. I bet the only reason why he's helping her is hoping to get a bit of ass, you know. Well, yeah, mate, you're a, you're quick to fucking trust. Takes two to fucking tango, son. Fucking these overbearing fucking characters. See your fucking question. Oh fuck! Stop fucking question, 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 question. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yes, Jody can arrange that. She's good at murdering, mate. Yes, the lights work outside, you idiot. It's, it's, I mean, it's kind of neat. Gordon, is this the fucking gerbil? Ooh, don't touch Gordon now. It's a hamster. Oh, yeah. That's sort of like a passing joke, but I think there's... um. A lot of significance to what he's just said there. <laughs> she ain't gonna tell him. Yeah, she's not letting on at all.
Yeah, she certainly not told him in regards to Mrs. Harlot's whereabouts. Yeah, it's so cool. I'm just trying to think the long-term significance to this male character. I mean, he, he's sort of helping her, kind of, but... Yeah, I'm calling it. When the shit hits the fucking fan, he's going to be nowhere to be seen. So no doubt about it, I think the angle the filmmakers are going to be pushing for, we're going to get the big reveal at the very end. Some more 1970s music kicking in. Seems to just like come from nowhere. I guess it was a thing back then where films were probably just scored in that way, you know? As I said, it's not a criticism at, at all, but... Yeah, fucking missing person's case, isn't it? Times two. Fuck me, it's the police. They're going to be like, oh, have you seen Mrs. Hallett? No one's seen her. Fuck. So it's the same, I don't know if I've promoted this guy, it's calling the uh, detective. Some fucking Columbo action at play, about to unfold. So I'm still wondering whether or not the body is still in the fucking basement dwelling, or whether or not she's put it somewhere else. It's cool in the sense as well, like the, the filmmakers have not shown us any of that. So you, as an audience viewer, you, there's a sense of like speculation ongoing. I like it because I'm constantly thinking, what if, where, questions, you know. Okay, so the son, yeah, mother's missing. So no doubt about it, Martin Sheen's going to be coming back into this movie in a big fucking way, isn't he? I bet he's going to have it out with... um. Rin, Run, Jacobs. He's going to be like, have you seen my mother? I know she come back here. Yeah, Frank's going to have it out with Rin. And it's going to escalate to the point where he'll fucking try it on from speculating, guys. But I can kind of see how it's going to play out. And she'll defend herself. And there'll be probably some reveal regarding the fucking bodies. It's going to get fucking dark, isn't it? So this kid... Uh, if you can call him a fucking kid, this young boy, he's a bit fucking naive, isn't he? And you don't quite realise what he's getting involved in here, you know? Is he just doing it to impress her? He's a bit of a fucking buffoon. She's clearly... She ain't fucking stupid, Rin. She knows exactly what's going on here, you know? Oh, it's Martin Sheen. Back before I knew it. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, a bit of slap and sickle, mate. You don't realise the boy's still there. Oh, at least she's got a little bit of muscle if it, you know, does kick off or he's clocked him. Yeah, so I've got to say, Sheen's fantastic, man. Really fucking sleazy, isn't he? Yeah, you just sort of naturally dislike the character. So I think he's absolutely nailing it in regards to his performance, you know? Oh, is that her fucking... That's not her, like, umbrella or something. Oh, no, don't fuck up the fucking gerbil. Shit. You ain't gonna do something. Uh, he's asking about the father. Oh, shit. Trying to use Gordon as a fucking bargaining soul. Don't. Don't fucking do this to me. If he fucking kills Gordon here, I'm going to be fucking fuming. Fuck off, mate. What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me, man? Oh, you're of zero fucking use, mate. Singing fucking Gordon. Fuck me, man. What a fucking cunt. Oh, fuck me, Jody. No, mate. Why don't I singe your fucking head in the fucking fireplace? Just fucking kill the fucking gerbil. I'm fucking fuming. Timmy, Timmy's fucking simmering. And then... Oh, I'll be up to something, mate. Can't wait to sever your fucking carcass, you prick. Animal killer. And you touch young girls. Fuck me, man. Why don't you fuck off, mate? Pretty Rin. Fuck him up, man. Fucking I'm just trying to... There's no way they could remake this film in 2023. It's fucking full on, isn't it? Fucking hell, man. Yeah, that was a pretty shocking moment with that gerbil, man. Fuck me, man. It's just so kind of like passing and blasé. So fuck me, he's fucking done it. And we're moving on. Oh, yeah. She's, um, she's having a little snooze in the basement, Frank. Ah, uh, she's very young. Oh, right, uh, mate, mate, mate. Alec, Frankie Alec. Why don't you start fucking dating women your own age, you prick? Yeah, mate. He ain't, he ain't fucking leaving right now, is he? Fuck me, man. Let's talk about it. This is just going to fucking escalate really fucking quickly, baby. I'm liking the performances right now. This feels very... A little bit like a stage play, theatrical, all in the performances, ensemble. They're all sufficiently getting moments. To su yeah, Sheen's awesome, baby. How about we call the police back, mate? You just killed my fucking gerbil, you prick.
To be honest, though, jo- Jody don't seem that fucking devastated. I ain't going to let this fucking gerbil slide, man. She ain't seen that fucking bothered by any of it. <laughs> Oh, you clearly need fucking help, mate. We'll put you in a fucking straight jacket to fucking touch young girls. He thinks he's a protected type, doesn't he? Oh, shit. Very convenient in the sense that the smashing a glass and you, you're already speculating. Is the body still below? Is it still in the fucking cellar? This is wonderful right now. This is a phenomenal movie. I can't believe this is the first time I'm watching it. It's fucking amazing. Oh, God. Don't be leaving. Oh, he's trying to fight back. That's it. Fucking stab the bastard. Oh, you see, he's doing that thing where they talk. Slippery snake. He's sliding out of the situation. You continue fucking talking. Don't fucking listen. I know you're teary-eyed, son. Fucking stab him. Yeah, fuck off, Sheen. Fucking molester. Gerbil fucking killing dickhead. Never come back. Well done, mate. Stepped up. She don't want to call the cops. Because, fuck me. Yeah. Caught on a crossfire, it. She don't want the police snooping about. Because she's concealing many fucking dark secrets. He's trying to fucking help. Yeah, look. He's going to have it out of her. Where's she too? You clearly know. A little bit late, though, for him to start fucking prying and asking questions. It's almost like... I feel like he's a little bit implicated here. You know, his involvement. Oh, she's... Here we go. She's going to... Oh, the big fucking reveal. Again, very interesting in regards to, like, the music. That they're choosing to use here. So is the body there or not? By the... The way I'm reading it, I mean, he doesn't seem that bothered. So, yeah, she's luring him down below. Here we go. What's it going to be? A sea of fucking bodies. Bodies. So, is it going to be the father and Mrs. Hallett? Jodie's racking up a fucking body count, isn't she? Oh, shit. Don't tell me she's just killed him. Oh no, he's still alive. Fuck me, man. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past her. Again, this, this is fucking awesome. It's a, Stylistically, it's a very... different way of letting things play out by not essentially involving the audience because we're not seeing a lot of this shit you know he's seen it we ain't fucking seen it so it's sustaining the tension beautifully right now it's almost like a counter Hitchcock technique by not showing you know Yeah, Jody. See, why am I not believing what she's saying here? So she, she just sort of got this place for herself, paid up for the next three years. Oh, and you took him out. 
Oh, shit. <laughs> Timmy's legs getting very fun. Timmy's legs getting really fucking dark. Timmy's shaking. <laughs> it's fucking dark. <laughs> Help me. Yeah, I'm completely blown away by the performances right now. It's fantastic, man. It's an actual letter. Right. An odd character. This Arin Jacobs. So did Travi just all wandered off into the fucking wilderness and never returned? Why am I struggling to believe this tale? So maybe he just dis so she's just an abandoned girl. a stronger bond with her father I guess oh fuck me it's fucking poison yeah oh shit fuck me baby So, oh God, man, fucking hell. Complex fucking narrative, this baby. So, I guess she accidentally poisoned her mother, not realising. Oh, fuck me. Pretty dark. Basically, doing the fucking father's dirty work, you know. He didn't properly let on. But he said, yeah, maybe you want to put this, ad, you know, this extra element into our fucking tea. Yeah, right, mate. So, I do enjoy this magician character. He, his involvement... It's very quite substantial now, you know, and kind of nice in the sense that she has somebody to like actually confide in, you know. Because I, I'm calling it. I don't think Sheen's done for. He's definitely coming back. There's been no fucking talk about the fucking gerbil. He just got fucking singed. I can't let that go. That is fucking dark, man. That fucking dickhead. Animal fucking cruelty at will. No fucking repercussions. Fuck off. Pretty fucking dark in the 70s, wasn't it? What well, people were fucking doing to each other. That's why this movie could never get remade now. Just for that one fucking moment. Absolutely no way. They fucking immediately have to fucking take that out, you know? Uh, 
Uh, soundtrack's very interesting throughout. As I said, it, it certainly reflects the period, 1976. So, back with Sheen. So, we're getting a little, like, passage of time yet. So, sort of life's trying to move on, I guess. Yeah, so I love a lot going on with this Rin Jacobs character. A lot of, like, unspoken moments, you know? Yeah, there's certainly a lot more to her that we're currently not aware of as an audience viewer. I like it, though. It's very, it keeps, it's very intriguing. There's this sense of mystery, ongoing mystery. It's a bit of a relationship forming here between these two. I, I like it. I don't know if they're going to become, like, romantically involved in some way. Yes, location's wonderful by the sea. She don't fucking need education. She's getting, like, a fucking advanced lesson in life with all of this fucking nonsense. Fuck me, man. Oh, shit. Is that concealing evidence? So, back with the jazzy 1970s music. Yeah, I would say it's taken me out of the movie, but when it keeps coming back in, I guess I'm more so reminded... Of like the time period, you know. So it's a little bit, not un, not off. Uh, maybe a little bit off putting, you know. Yeah, it's just a minor criticism. I almost feel like the film could function better if they, yeah, removed that element. Oh, fuck me, man. Are they burying the fucking body? Would you, Adam, and fucking Eve it? Fucking hell, man. I really, you re I really believe they're going to get away with this. So, all roads lead back to the fucking basement dwelling. And the fact that us, the audience, are still... Essentially in the dark in regards to what's going on here. Yeah, this is really great, I think. Uh, like a creative angle like this. They're not going to show us anything, look. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's really, it's working for me. That's it, so the body's buried outside. Uh, so, uh, I mean, he's involved now. There's no, yeah. I don't know. I mean, it, what was essentially an accidental murder, but, oh, God. Yeah, no intention of t telling law enforcement in any way, and, he, and he's involved now, implicated. Oh, he's in the bathtub. She's soaping him up. Fuck me, man. Christ, man. It's too like Bonnie and fucking Clyde, isn't it? Fuck me.
Oh, is it fucking Sheen? Oh, Hallett, he's not answering on that. He's just heavy breathing. He's coming to get her. He's a hungry... The gerbil wasn't a fucking enough. He's got a taste for it now, hasn't he? He's coming back. Come back in the middle of the night when she least fucking expects it. He's quivering. Fuck me. Has this guy got a fever or something? Seems to be fucking shivering right now. It's going to get a lot fucking darker, mate. In regards to your fucking involvement. Burying fucking bodies, mate. What's that about? I'm happy to fire at the fire. Where's the fucking gerbil to? Singed. Oh, I fucking care now. Well, don't worry, just get a replacement fucking gerbil in. Oh, look. Oh, these two are going to start getting touchy-feely. Oh, yeah, that's a lot better, love. Very awkward sequence, this. I like it. Oh, I can touch you. Ah, oh, hundreds of times. What are you, a fucking porn star, mate? Fucking liar, innit? Oh, I see you starting to have fucking doubts about it. It's a bit fucking late, mate. He don't re want to reveal... They, they're like enjoying their little setup here. Keep it in this interior space, you know. Don't take it outside. Makes kind of sense. And also, if you see it from the angle of this magician character, yeah, he certainly don't want to let on the fact that he's interacting with this girl because he obviously knows, you know. I wonder if she ever let on the fact that it was like an accidental death, or does he... Uh, is he... Uh, I mean, he doesn't, certainly doesn't seem bothered by it. Yeah, I don't know. Again, a lot of elements that have not been shown. Yeah, she looks pretty ominous, bathed in this, like, reddish cloak and her white greyish hair yeah for a young girl she looks incredibly old oh shit don't tell me it's fucking sheen oh fuck man oh no it's fucking Columbo's back great Oh, at least it's not fucking Martin Sheen, because I thought it was about to get super fucking dark. I'm calling it. I reckon we're going to get a fucking dark fucking rape sequence in this movie. I feel like it's all in. I mean, they killed off a fucking gerbil, so, you know, next stop, fucking random rape sequence. Back again. Yeah, mate. I mean, it's, I mean, he could play the card of, I want to search the property. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, love, you are smart. There's a lot you're not letting on. There's a lot you're not telling me right now, yeah? Here we go. Yeah. Oh, shit. I've never seen him. 
He's going to go on and have a look for himself. It's like fucking psycho, isn't it? Yeah, go upstairs. I've preserved the body. <laughs> Father's sat in the fucking window. You see his fucking silhouette when you, when you, you know, park up outside. Yeah, he's definitely alive. How about I fix you a drink? Some lashings of poison. Before you know it, you'll be chilling in my basement fucking dwelling, mate. You'll be fucking dead. <sighs> Overly active imagination. It's very like... Oh, where is he fucking to? Because we got the fucking tale that he, he left her. And now she's saying that he's still upstairs. Oh, shit. Oh, are you... Are you fuck? Fuck me, man. Well, that's from me. So he is fucking alive. A bit tired, mate. You seem fucking cracked, son. Oh, this is completely fucking throw me, this. There's something not right about this father figure. And the fact that now he's suddenly appeared. It's like, where have you fucking been? And so I, I don't believe for a second that that's him. Is he fucking deaf and seen us? There's loads of shit been unfolding within his own fucking home. And now he fucking reveals himself. Get your fucking ears checked, mate. So we're going to get a conversation here. Is this our actual father or not? Oh man, this is going to get fucking dark. Oh, it's... Oh, how did I fall for this? Fucking hell, man. What a fucking twist, and I fucking fell for it. So the fucking magician was impersonating the father, and I fell for that. Oh, what? Jody Stripping fucking naked? Without a fucking care in the world? What's going on now? But fucking naked. Fucking hell, man. Wow, man. Getting some free love action now. He won't let on. He just wants a bit of fucking ass now. Oh, God, he's all in, isn't he? Is it love or lust, mate? Quite easy to get those two confused in life. He just wants a bit of ass. He ain't fucking love. Oh, she's been longing for someone. Especially a fucking magician who knows how to impersonate her fucking father. She loves it. Christ, Sam. Like a fucking married couple, these two. Yes, it's without doubt. One of the strangest movies I've ever fucking seen. Oh, Agatha Christie. Yeah, let's bring that up. 
All about fucking murder and concealment. No, you're trying to. F he's trying to figure it out. Oh shit. So the kids, oh shit. Is this, is this police officer bullshit in here? I don't believe this is the fucking truth he's telling her right now. Yeah, he's luring her somewhere. Fuck. Oh, maybe not. Maybe he's fucking ill. Okay, it's him. Shit. Looks like he's in a bad fucking way. Well, there goes their fucking relationship. If we can even call it a relationship. Rin and Super fucking Mario. To be no more. Gosh, she's um, yeah, fantastic performances from Jodie Foster. Really, really strong. So advanced for her years. I've always considered, or I've always thought that of her anyway as an actress. Old head on like young shoulders, you know. <laughs> Interesting now, because it kind of takes Mario out of the picture, and now surely we're going to get more, some more Martin Sheen coming back into play. Yeah, I feel like it's going to build to this big ending between those two, the two characters. Is it Rin and Frank? I feel like the film's going to bookend itself. It started on those two, and it's going to end on those two. I do enjoy these like isolated shots of her like walking about. That sort of ties in to her like the psychology of the character. Yeah, isolated on the bus again. Yeah, the bus is complete, completely empty. Yeah, really cool. Yes, yeah, so we've got about 10 minutes left now. Yeah, here we go. This finale, surely. Frank's going to be waiting for her. I'm calling it, man. We have a silhouetted shot of the house in the background. Oh, here we go. I bet he's already inside. Shit. Here we go. Oh, my God. There's going to be some reveal here. Oh. Ah, oh, don't tell me she just had a moment regarding the fucking gerbil. Well, she has got a fucking conscience then. Not that she killed it, but fuck me, love. At least show that you fucking cared. Oh god, the lights are out. Oh shit. I'm on edge here. The lights are out. The music's cranking up. Are we now going to get a proper reveal of the character? Yeah, something's been concealed throughout regarding her 
psychology. Here we go. Oh my god, man. Oh, the camera's roaming. Oh, it's getting... Oh, something in the fucking cellar. Oh, shit. Something's coming out of the cellar. Uh... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Don't be doing this to me. Seriously, what the fuck is happening? Fuck. <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. Oh, fuck me, man. There was me trying to guess the fucking ending. It's gone all fucking supernatural. Simi's like, I need to change my fucking underpants. Fucking hell, man. Oh, shit. Oh no. What is it? Uh, 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 it's not Marriott. It's not Marriott. I bet it's Sheen. Oh, fucking hell, Sheen. Oh, fuck me, mate. <laughs> Sick fucking bastard. Look at him. That's it, mate. He's just chilling out in the fucking cellar. And there was me thinking it was some twisted fucking supernatural angle. Oh, he's been waiting for this moment, hasn't he? any reveal regarding the whereabouts of his mother oh shit no my fucking mother's yeah you know she's not old enough mate if you didn't realise she's not old enough gerbil fucking killer so here we go uh, gonna have it out with each other He's going to want to know the whereabouts. You fucking know. Where's the body to? It's almost like you, as an audience viewer, I want her to get away with it now because I hate this character so much. It's Sheen character, you know? So it's fantastic, like, writing and the performances to sort of build to this moment between these two. Yeah, it's wonderful, man. Oh, look, he's just randomly touching her tits. Fucking hell, man. Tea? Oh, yeah. Let's fix him a night. Tea and some fucking poison? Yeah, let's do it, Jody. Let's fu fuck him up. Time to kill the fucking gerbil killer. Very ominous. Yeah, you know, it's the officer. Shit. Yeah, but yeah, why don't you just pop over, like, right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sh Shane's like, oh, yeah. Oh, only our little secret, yeah? My secret. My my little my little thirteen year old piece of ass secret. That's what you got. You twinkle twinkle in his fucking eyes. Look at him. Yeah, she's gonna fix him a treat, yeah. Boiling the fucking kettle. With benefits, yeah, mate. Your fucking benefits. It's a freely touched young fucking... Oh, look. He's trying to get all fucking romantic with her. Yeah, she's going to fucking end him here. Brilliant, man. 
Oh, your father taught you well. Yeah, look, he thinks he's getting a bit of ass. Yeah, fuck him up. Let's be having it. Do him. Fuck him. End him. Here we go. A little bit of, little bit of spice in your fucking tea, son. Oh yeah, I know how to survive. Shame about you, mate. You'll be fucking dead in five minutes. Perfect. Yeah, put the light in. Let's make sure. This is a wonderful film. Sheen's spectacular, man. What about us? Oh, he won't let on. A sleazeball, isn't he? Oh, yeah, I've got to get very cosy. Cosy with your dead fucking carcass, mate. Oh, yeah. Fucking dickhead thinks he's getting a bit of ass. Look at him. Drink your fucking tea first, mate. Drink your drink. Oh, a little, a little bit of sugar, yeah? Oh, well, a little bit of lemon, lemon, lemon twist in your fucking saucer, yeah? Oh, yeah. That's a lashings of poison, so you like a nice biscuit. Oh, yeah. Love a biscuit. Chomp, chomp. Beautiful sequence, this. She's keen for him to have a sip. I mean, I mean, she's not fucked up. She's poisoned. There's no reason why she can't drink her own tea, you know? I mean, she's only put poison in his tea. Oh, look. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. little fucking sly fox. So he swapped around. Oh, God. Oh, she can't. Oh, she's drinking it. Or unless is she that fucking smart that she knew he'd swap it over. Uh, I don't know how this is going to play out here. Yeah. Oh, she... Yeah, she knew what he would do then. Fucking hell, man. Oh, yeah. Poison fucking pickled, son. Oh, got a little bit of a cough there, Mr. Sheen. Oh, how unfortunate. The gerbil's watching in gerbil heaven. He's loving it. You're fucking in this twat. Eh, dead. Brilliant camera shot of the fire in the background and Jody. Without a care in the world. He's basically dying. Yeah. Oh, man. Again, I like it in the, in the sense it's, it's happening off camera. Oh, beautiful ending this is. Yes, I mean, 
That's a fantastic end shot. It's going to end here on our face. The searing fire in the background. Fuck me, man. Wow, and it's fucking ended. Jesus, son. And they're just holding this end shot on our face, on our eyes. Basically, he's still dying out right now. Wow, baby, I've seen some films in my time, but that is fucking remarkable. Yeah, absolutely blown away by this. What a fucking beautiful movie. Couldn't guess the fucking ending. I knew, it, I, I mean, I said it was going be, to be between these two, but the way it played out, fuck me, man. And clever in the sense she knew to swap the drinks over. So, yeah. She had kind of an insight into his personality, his way of thinking. So she clocked it. Brilliant, now the camera is still on her. So she had, she really cut her teeth in regards to like, if you think of like Silence of the Lambs, where you get those sustained, intense shots on like ice, she really cut her teeth on this one. The little girl who lived, who lives down the lane. It's a long title, but it's a fucking beautiful film. Loved it, guys. Just hit and stop. Can you imagine them trying to remake that? 2023. Fucking forget about it, man. Because you've got... <sighs> gerbil killing, paedophilia, personating a fucking father figures, random fucking murders in cellars. Ain't fucking happening in 2023. Right, guys, if you've enjoyed the commentary, give me some feedback. I'll be back again very soon. Bye now.